McDonald's, Subway, Chick-fil-A, Starbucks. Who has the best chocolate chip cookie? We're gonna find that out today. Okay, the first stop on the list is Subway. I haven't been to Subway since probably like high school, no joke. Lies, but it's been a while. Since it has been a long Subway. time. Okay, we got the first set of cookies at Subway. You kidding me? Ooh. I just wanna know who still goes to Subway. So many better options. Jersey Mike's, freaking Jimmy John's, Firehouse Subs. Who goes to Subway? You like Subway. No, I don't. I like their cookies, so this should be pretty interesting. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. Okay, all right, well, cookie number one. And if you guys don't know, we're gonna do this on, on the one bite pizza review scale. One bite, everybody knows rules. But you gotta put everything into it, okay. in my opinion. Okay. Restaurant, like the price, okay. I mean. For three cookies, it was two forty nine. Andrew thought you had to buy three. Yeah, so you're in each cookie for less than a buck. Okay. Maybe, what is that, like 89 cents, something like that, so. Let's go, give it to Raiden. I'm thinking. Out of 10? Mm-hmm, it's pretty good. It's good, it's like crispy around the edge but chewy in the middle. So I feel like it has a good balance. I will say their subs have went downhill, but their cookies have stayed the same. I'm giving this, we gotta stay at the same time. I don't wanna influence your decision. Okay, and a nine is like elite. A 10 is like, that's really- Yeah, like, like nine plus- Like out tens. Yeah, no, okay. no, nothing will be a 10. Okay. And you can do points, like 9.1. Okay, one, okay, right? okay, okay. All right, I got mine. Okay, I got mine. Three, two, one, seven, eight, two. one. Seven, two. All right, pretty close. Seven, two, and an eight, one. This cookie's pretty incredible, though. It's good. It's definitely a good cookie for the price, but I don't know if I would say it's incredible. Well, off to the next store or restaurant or whatever. Let's go see what their scores are. All right, we're pulling up to Mickey D's. I honestly have never eaten a cookie here. I didn't even know they had them, but apparently they do. Hopefully they do. Let's find out. Hey, how's it going? Are you using your mobile app? Uh, no. What can I get started for you? Can I please just get two cookies? Two cookies? Yep. Ooh, perfect timing, because that's all I got. Oh, yay, the last two. Right on, you can pull forward. Thank you. No problem. Okay, somehow we managed to land the last two cookies at McDonald's. That could be a bad thing, because that could mean that they've been sitting out all day. Maybe. But two cookies, two fifteen. So much more expensive than Subway. They're Subway. Warm. Let me see. Ooh, wow. That is clutch. You gotta you gotta incorporate it on your ring. What is tiny, that? Tiny, tiny compared to the Subway ones. More expensive and tiny. Focus on the freaking cookie. <laughs> Wait, let me do the rip. Let me do the rip. Oh yeah. There All right. you go. It's way... Okay, just take a bite. Just take a bite. Okay. This tastes exactly like if you were to make cookies at your house. And you stopped them at the perfect temperature. They also have that really good, like, crunch on the outside, but super soft on the inside. But it is about half the size of a Subway cookie. But it's warm. So you're really getting... You're paying, like, four times the price. Because... The cookies are like, they're way more expensive per cookie. Okay, and they're also half the size. That's gotta be incorporated. But can't the, the cookie overshadow that in your own personal If range? you think it tastes way better. You ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, Eight, seven, four. two. Wow, we, we flipped. We flipped and flipped. I feel like you didn't incorporate the price that much, did you? Honestly, I think the price isn't still outrageous. I think it is more expensive. Think. But it's warm, and honestly, I thought it was way better. Like, I thought it was way, way better. Okay, so three cookies at Subway, $2.49. Two cookies at McDonald's, $1.99. So, wait, am I stupid? Two cookies for $2. Three cookies for $2.49, which is, no, $2.70. I wish it said how much the price was for each cookie. Three That's cookies 80. for $2.70, two cookies for $2.15. I gotta figure out the price per cookie. Was it two what? For three cookies, it was $2.70. Okay. At Subway, it was 90 cents per cookie after tax. So 90 cents per cookie there. And at McDonald's, it was a dollar oh seven. It's a but day, listen, it's like a 20 cent difference and they heat it up and it was it's way better. Half the cookie. Literally that big. I thought they were better. I mean taste wise, I yes. I stand on my eight five. Taste wise. I stand on my eight five. Because of the warmth, yes. McDonald's is probably better. But that price. I don't know, I think it dogs you some points. And now we are off to Starbucks. Again, another restaurant or whatever. Never knew they had cookies. Yeah, I, it could be a win or loss that this Starbucks has cookies. To be honest, I thought they only sold like breakfast sandwiches and like pumpkin bread or whatever, or banana bread or whatever. If they don't have a cookie, I don't know if I can rate it that high. We can't rate it at all. That's the joke. How what can I get for you? Can I just do two chocolate chip cookies, please? You want those warmed up? Sure. All right, 6.39 at the window. Thank you. Thank you. 
6.39. This better be the best cookie I've ever had in my life. Yeah, if you're charging 3.35 for a cookie, it's three times the price. Maybe these cookies are huge. We really don't know. No, it's Starbucks. It's all just, you're just showing my chin. Not a, not a flattering angle. But yeah, $3 per cookie. That's if, crazy. The, the, when she said six, I was like, well, what did you just say? And maybe we're doing our ratings unfairly. Maybe it should just be off taste. But I think you have to incorporate that no, because it's not fair. No, I think that it's okay that if it's more expensive, it just has to be that much better. I'm just saying, if this isn't like way better, this could get a terrible score for me. Okay, we have them. Two separate bags. The price is outrageous. We looked up the price of one crumble cookie. It's $4.20 for one crumble cookie. And that's basically the Rolls Royce of cookies. They're like a dollar off of like an elite cookie. So the total, each cookie was $2.95. And that's not including tax. Great size. Big, very large cookie. It's about 50% bigger than the so or the uh, Subway cookie and about four times bigger than the McDonald's cookie. Look at that bite though. Mm. It's a good bite. Three, two, one, Four, six, one. seven. That is uh -huh. a terrible cookie. I do not like that cookie. You didn't like it? No. I don't like how it's crumbly all the way through. The center's not even soft. It tastes exactly like McDonald's. Just a no, little less I think soft. It's, I think it's less soft and I think it's less flavorful. I don't like that cookie. Well, for me, it tastes basically like McDonald's, just a little less warm, but it's like There's 10 times no the price. There's no chewy center. The center's not, it's just hard, a hard cookie. Just a warm, hard, crumbly cookie. So that's definitely the lowest score once so far. Yeah. But if it sure. wasn't so expensive, would you have rated it higher? I probably would have given it like a 5-4. The price is outrageous, genuinely. Yeah, it is. That cookie's not worth three twenty or whatever no, it is. two ninety five. You have to include the tax. Oh. Okay, now we're at Chick-fil-A, and also we are getting dinner here. This is why this is our last spot. Chick-fil-A cookies. Again, never knew they had one. Never knew there was a Chick-fil-A cookie. Have you ever had a Chick-fil-A cookie? No, I've had their ice cream and I really like their ice cream, but. Okay, well, that's not a cookie. Well, I was just saying I've had one of their sweets. All right, well, maybe that correlates. I don't know. I don't know, but we're gonna get some food and a cookie. There's oats in these. Okay, wait. Where, Where do you see you... oats? Look at mine. There's like little oats. Okay, well, we're on Chick-fil-A cookies. Again, a cookie I have never even known existed yeah. before today. Uh, 178 per cookie. So that puts it, Mid. oh, is that like right on? Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, McDonald's, Subway. Subway. Okay. See, the thing throwing me off with McDonald's is you get two cookies. There's oats in this. Look at this cookie, everybody. There's oats. I bet you this has a good ooey break, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, that is full of chocolate, and that is full of good ratings, probably. Definitely oats. I'm kind of cookied out, if I'm being honest. You can't be biased that this is our fourth I cookie. Won't, I won't. Three, two, one, Seven, five, two. Five. That was the worst cookie we've had. Really? I kind of liked it. Taste-wise, and it was pretty expensive. I like the oat. Not a fan of the oat. That is not a chocolate chip cookie. Just imagine like a oatmeal raisin cookie, but yeah, instead of raisins, Maybe that's why I like chocolate. oatmeal raisin, so. <sighs> yeah. No. Now, honestly, your scores are tainted. Why? Because you said you like an oatmeal raisin cookie. Who likes oatmeal raisin? You would, you're telling me if there was 50 Andrew, different cookies, you, you would know go this for about me. I don't really like chocolate chip cookies. It's not my choice of cookie. And you're bringing this information up now after we've reviewed four cookies? No, I didn't say I didn't like them. It's just not my, it's not my pick of the litter. People are watching this video for expert advice. D That's wait, like, excuse me. No, just what? Because, no, 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 sir. No. Hang on, let me say this. What you basically just did is give someone like life advice mm -hmm. about how to live a long life, a healthy life, and then you tell them, yeah, I'm not a and psychologist. What makes, you, what makes you a chocolate chip cookie connoisseur? Because I have what we call taste buds. And people with taste buds that work would never say they like oatmeal raisin cookies. That is equivalent to a bird saying they like Mm-hmm. Good one. Keep thinking. Food. It's taking you a long time to get there. <laughs> I was hoping I could get there. I was going to say a bigger bird that eats them, but I don't know if that... Do birds uh, eat each other? I don't know. Your final rankings were what? One. I think one was Subway. Mine, my number one was McDonald's. We're going to put... We could be wrong with this, but at the end, I'll say the end results so we all know. Because how we got to do is we got to add our scores together and then divide it by two to come up with the actual number. Oh. Uh, 
Yeah, so I probably we're gonna have to do that after. That's post. Yeah, that's definitely in post. So I don't know what the final rating is, but you'll see it on the screen right now. Well, there you go, people. Fun little video where we reviewed four chocolate chip cookies from various fast food restaurants. Again, we don't really know. Three chocolate chip, one. Uh, what? Oatmeal, oatmeal and chocolate chip. <laughs> like, Chick fil A, you make the best chicken sandwiches, like, out well, of. Well, they should just stick in their lane then. Yeah, why are we even doing that? Like, what are you freaking doing? And yeah, sorry it's been like 439 days since we last posted. No excuses. We were busy watching uh, SpongeBob or something yeah. so there's a lot of episodes we caught up on it so now we should hopefully be able to post more videos but just let us know if you like this let us know in the comments what you want to see next and we'll see you the freaking next one peace see ya